Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today we're going to show you how to do box offset bands. And one uh, box offset band that I'm going to show you is a two inch jump right here. You see, here's the two, the inside uh, measurement right here on the EMT conduit is two inches. So we're going to call this a two inch uh, jump uh, up to get into this box. So this is a box offset because this is an offset band that just happens to go into a box. If we were just uh, just going over for the heck of it, then it would just be called an offset. But this is a box offset. So we got one right here and we have one right here. I'm also going to be showing you a box offset that goes into a regular receptacle type box. And this is 3 eighths of an inch. The distance behind here is 3 eighths of an inch. So it had to come up and jump up 3 eighths of an inch to go into this box. From here to here would be just a regular offset bend. And then from here to here would be an offset bend. And together they make something we call four point saddle bends. So here we have the rules that go to the four point saddle bends. And they just happen to be 30 degree bands. Just like we're going to be using going to the light fixtures for our box offsets for the light fixtures and you have to figure in the shrinkage and the multiplier it just so happens we have a klein tools uh, magnetic tape measure here and on the back of it we have conduit bending multipliers and shrinkage so here's 30 degrees and your multiplier is two and the shrink factor is one quarter inch per inch. Okay, so it's right there on the back of your tape measure. Isn't that cool? That's what I have written on here. Uh, shrinkage is a quarter inch per inch of obstruction. The obstruction is two inches. So we got a quarter inch times two is a half inch of shrinkage. And then here, uh, your multiplier is two, as we just saw on the back of this tape, and times the height of obstruction, which is two, so this is four right here, and this is a half right here. So the distance between our marks is four and a half inches. Okay, so I wrote it up here as well. 30 degree bands, the multiplier is two, and the shrink is a quarter inch times the height of obstruction. Now I'm gonna take these off, and we're gonna bend some new ones. I have made a mark right here. This is two inches from the start of the conduit. This distance is arbitrary. You can make it two and a half inches, you can make it three inches. As long as you have a, like a half inch or so sticking out here, you're good. Uh, two inches is a nice round number that works quite well. And then I have four and a half inches, which is what we calculated we needed, between the marks. It's four and a half inches. And I have the first mark on the arrow of the bender. And we're going to be bending it right here to the 30 degree mark. Okay, and so here we go. You put your boot against the handle of the bender for stability. And we're gonna come down right to the 30 degree mark. And we're gonna flip it. We're gonna put the second mark right on the arrow. And we're gonna turn it so it's nice and straight. You see it's nice and straight in the same plane. Okay, and now we're, again we're going to go to the 30 degree mark. Okay, so there's our box offset bend. Uh, now I'm going to cut my box offset to the same length as the previous box offset. And I'm going to ream it out. All right, there's the new box offset ready for the box. Okay, so here's our second box offset, and we have the arrow on the first mark that is at two inches, and we go four and a half inches. That's our second mark right here. And once again, we're going to be going to 30 degrees. Right there. And we flip it around. You put the second mark on the arrow. You get it straight Get nice and straight okay 
And here we go. Okay, there's a second box offset. We'll remount our cut. Okay, so we'll put our light box back on. Here's the second light box. So here's your two 30 degree box offsets. There's this one and this one. Well, here's a box offset that goes to a receptacle or a switch box and there's 3 8 inch uh, behind here. So I'm going to take this one down and make another one. To make this box offset we're going to use two 10 degree bands. And it's going to go in just like that. And the multiplier is 6 for 10 degree bands. And the shrinkage is 1 16th per inch. And we only have 3 eighths of an inch, so 1 16th of that isn't very much. So we're just going to stay with 2 and a quarter. Now we're going to be making the box offset for that uh, receptacle box. And so we got uh, two marks, 2 and a quarter inches apart. Uh, once again, I've chosen to have 2 inches for this length. And we're going to be bending to 10 degrees this time. So brace the handle with your boot. All right, so the underside has to be aligned with this line, the 10 degree line right there. And you might need to go a little bit beyond it because there's a little bit of spring and it springs back and we're right about at 10 degrees right there. So you take it and you spin it around. We're gonna put the arrow on the second. We're gonna put the arrow on the second line and turn it so it's in the same plane right there okay I like that so uh, brace the handle with your boat we're going to 10 degrees once again all right there you go okay we'll take our conduit put it right into the box get it nice and level right, there you go got a box offset for a receptacle or a switch box. And don't forget to clean off your pencil marks for that extra professional look. I'll put links in my video description for the ideal three quarter inch ductile iron EMT bender with handle. I'll also put links for the ideal ductile iron one inch and one half inch EMT benders. And I'll put links for the ideal aluminum benders in the same sizes. And I'll put links for four different brands of mini band saws. These all have two and a half inch cutting capacity. The Bosch and the Makita are the lightest ones. The Bosch being 8.8 .8 pounds without a battery. The Makita 9.0 pounds with a battery. But uh, they're all excellent. And check them out in my video description if you're interested. I'll also put a link for the Klein Magnetic 9 inch lighted level. You just press a button on the level and it lights up. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.